made the thunderous sounds of my typing have subsided. So I can actually unmute myself. Alrighty then, hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to the Ronnie Most Dreamy Show! It's us back again, as per every week on a Wednesday. And look at me, Slow Wolf, your host. Hey, look, in that corner there. There we go, I got the right corner for once. Uh, we have Raffle Zeit. If you haven't now already figured out what that is, hey, you must be new here. Uh, go ahead and put an exclamation mark Raffle. You can enter a draw to win a Robo Scoop. On today's show, we've got a pretty interesting docket. Very specifically. We're going to be doing a little bit of a feature of some fan art. After that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the newest uh, project to come out of Sonic Picnic. Very specifically, a collector's item, uh, and very specifically, a very cool one. I'm interested in it. We'll talk about that more a little bit later. Some awesome Rots news. We're going to talk about the SPL a little bit, and uh, we'll take a look at the top 100. I don't think it's changed very much, to be perfectly honest with you. Fine. Actually, you know what? I'll just tell you that news right now. It really hasn't changed much. Uh, and then, at this point, we got the big thing. That's why... Big Kahuna. We're going to be talking about Blightbound. We're going to be talking about Blightbound because we're going to be playing some Blightbound here on this stream today. I even roped in two of my friends from the office to, to go ahead and make this one happen. Unfortunately, one of them isn't Kuhn. I'll have to get him another week. But this time, we got ourselves uh, some friends in the form of uh, Thomas, who's one of the users, and Lawrence, who's uh, one of the uh, developers, who actually um, got to interview from Blightcast, which is coming out this, uh, this, uh, this week on Friday. But we'll talk about that more a little bit later again. For now... Let's get started with the top of the show. So for the top of the show, I'd like to go ahead and just mention again, hey, you got fan art? I want to see it, okay? There are things that I want to see. There are things I want to show off. And today, we're going to be taking a look at some more of R.P. Varela's pixel art that he's just been slapping together at record speeds. Uh, here we've got the Shadow Titan, and we're also going to be taking a look at Chorus, who's popping up. There we are. Uh, R.P. Varela has developed both of these pixel arts, and they're awesome. Thank you very, very much. If you do go ahead and send and like show fan art, create it in the uh, put in the content section of the Discord uh, for the Ronmo.gg. Uh, sorry, the Discord.gg slash Ronmo Discord. Then I can go ahead and pick it up, look at it, ask your permission to post it on the Instagram, and then I can go ahead and put it on the official Ronmo Instagram, which is a thing now. It exists. Ronmo Games official. Check it out. I'm excited. Anyway, thank you, RP Varela, for going ahead and making these beautiful pieces of art. I am super excited to go ahead and show you guys what the real things look like in a very short moment. Now, uh, with that said, let's go ahead and start off with some awesome nuts news. The SPL has been working full time uh, to just kind of get his matches done, and a lot of them have kind of come together. Oh, by the way, Raffle Sight Timer. Probably should get that up and running. Should I not? Yes, that would make sense. Where is my Raffle Sight Timer? Another instance of Snatch is already running. Yes, I know this. But where? Right, Raffle Sight actually run the button perfect we've done it so um the spl has been running and we've got about half of our matches all done music is too loud excellent still how's that um the spl is still running and it's doing well most of its matches have been well half the matches have been submitted there's only one week left though so if you're currently playing in the spl get your matches done and finished a couple things have changed namely uh, the way that points are scored in the SPL at the moment. If you win, you get three points. If you lose, you get one point for your league. That's it. That's all. So, it's simplified. Submission rules are even easier than before. And a lot of the leagues are actually doing pretty well. As it stands right now, we've got at least one league that is completely finished. Uh, or at least one team that has completely finished all their games. I'd like to go ahead and congratulate Team FU Sentry. Nice. For having finished all their games first out of everybody in the leagues. Nice. So... Congratulations again to them, and to everybody else, good luck. Finish all your games, please, before this coming Wednesday, because this coming Wednesday is July the 1st. It is the end of the first session of the SPL. After that, the divisions are going to go ahead and start changing, and I'm going to start putting results for you. <laughs> that's not what you want. So, that's the SPL. Additionally, uh, let's go ahead and talk about that big, pro that big thing. That big thing. We actually have to turn, turn off the music! What do you mean? I know it's nice, and I know we're about to listen to more of it, but that's not the point. Turn it off. Thank you. So, the reason why we're turning off the music right now is because we have a little thing going on. Uh, very specifically, I'd like to go ahead and show you guys uh, a new project. 
a new thing that Sonic Picnic have been working on for the last little while and that they are very excited to go ahead and show you guys. And then we're excited to show you guys as well. Uh, they have developed with no small, you know, amount of fanfare, at least from us here at the office, they have developed an Osnots double LP. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Take a look at this thing. So this is the Crates website. This is like a Kickstarter, but for music albums. And this is the double LP. A side, B side, C side, and D side. This record is insane. The art is awesome as per usual, but on top of that, it has, like, if you guys remember the old record that they gave out for the Starstorm Kickstarter, this is at least three times that. They have all of the Awesome Knots tracks, plus three of the other tracks, mastered and perfected for a record setup. Now, this is definitely a collector's item, I'm not going to lie to you, but at the same time, this is a really cool collector's item, especially if you've been playing Knots for a while, or if you're a bit of a music buff and a bit of a music lover yourself. So... Uh, I like to go ahead and show off my favorite track that they've got on this. I cannot wait to put this on in front of dinner guests at some point when I somehow find the time to go ahead and buy a record machine. You will be it's so good. Now, I wish you could change the volume on this. I'm going to have to turn it back off for a second. But um this is currently a kickstarter where it's going for about 30 euros for uh one of these lovely little packages here plus shipping so right now as a canadian this ends up being closer to uh, an additional 11 euros on top of that so 41 euros to go ahead and get this thing shipped to my house um we've already got two people who backed it coon is one of them i'm going to be the third one uh shortly unless if one of you guys beats me to it but this thing is absolutely gorgeous so to quickly go over it um, all your favorite awesome uh, it's character themes on two plastic platters, now even extra funkier than ever. Let's use our power to make it happen. So, if we reach the copy, uh, 100 copy pre-ordered bonus uh, goal, you get all the 38 character tunes, the extended version of Awesome Nuts theme song, and more, all freshly pressed on two 12-inch records, which are gorgeous. If we get to 200 copies, the sleeve will ga have a gatefold, so the inner side of the album will contain an extra full-color print designed by Ronimo Games for the same price. And if there's one thing Ronimo Games is really good at, as I've said, over many years of YouTubing and being, you know a thing um they have really good art so that's gonna be beautiful uh if i'm not incorrect they probably have some preview images that i can show at least on the company instagram so you guys go ahead and check out the instagram after this um which will be put all over twitter and everything as soon as the show is done finally if you reach 300 copies you'll get the same gatefold sleeve for both records on a picturesque vinyl disc that is designed by ronimo games for the same price it's gonna be fantastic um i'm really looking forward to going ahead and having one of these and bothering some of my friends with it they've got all the updated themes as well um now they also added in some of the really popular ones that we all like for instance uh this slaps by the way this slaps so hard This thing is going to be awesome. Uh, and again, it's definitely a collector's item. It's not one of those things that everybody has access to or can use. But it is really, really cool. And so I just re well, like I wanted to go ahead and promote it as much as possible. I'll be doing the same thing again next week. Because uh, I think it's awesome. Uh, and at the very least, if we can get to 100 uh, pre-orders, that would be fantastic. And would, you know, it, it was, it's effectively a side project for Sonic Picnic. They wanted to do something really cool. And that's what they've done. So, here we are. Uh, hopefully you folks are interested and if you have more questions go ahead check out crates.com the awesome nuts all nuts pack and i go ahead and post the link in the twitch chat so uh and there you go please do check that out it is super super cool uh and let's go ahead and listen to some more of that slapping music where did i like seriously i've oh right one other thing if you do pre-order it you will get the entire digital soundtrack as well the whole thing uh if you haven't already through Bandcamp, which by the way, is awesome, because if you manage to get it through Bandcamp, you can download it as an FLAC, an MP3, high quality, whatever you need. I've bought it multiple times. It's a really good soundtrack. So if you get the record, you also get the digital soundtrack. It's stellar. So, if you're in for that kind of thing, 
go for it. It makes for an excellent collector's item as well. And if you know somebody that would be into that, go for it. If we can invest early, can we get an Austin Nuts themed record player as well? That would be super cool. I would love that. Have it shaped like clunk or something and just be... <laughs> It'd be so good. It'd be so good. So yeah, that's, that's one thing I definitely wanted to go ahead and share with you folks because... To me, anyway, that seemed fairly important. Um, right. Other Awesome Nuts news. There's not really much else that's uh, immediately happening for Awesome Nuts. Uh, I just got access to some of the web development tools and everything. And uh, what this means is that the carousel will starting to change. So if you guys have been noticing, hey, well, I say that the streaming show is over. It's not. Trust me. I'm fixing it. I'm working on it. Um, additionally, uh, you've been seeing me a lot around in Awesome Knots lately. Uh, I've been trying to play occasionally in between doing bouts of work and stuff. So if you see me, say hi, uh, and I'll make sure to do the same right back for you. Now, um, as far as other Awesome Knots news goes, I'm pretty sure that that concludes it. There, I think that there's the Awesome Knots Brawl Weekly Finals happening this weekend as well. So check out, check that out. Go ahead and talk to Jombo about that. Um, and uh, I'm sure he'd be happy to go ahead and write and rave about it. I'm not sure if there's a stream going on for that, but hey, that's a thing. Finally, um, I have replays. I have access to replays. And as a result of having access to replays, very specifically thanks to one of the developers, i.e. Dennis, hi Dennis, uh, handing me a converter, I can actually watch them. So, what I'm going to try to do on Friday is cast some games. So starting on Friday, we're going to have a Ronimo casting show uh, happening on Fridays here on Ronimo, uh, twitch.tv slash Ronimo. I will do my best to go ahead and shoutcast some Awesome Nuts games uh, just to start things off, get things into the groove. If you have any games you want to show me, if you think that there are some really close games you think are awesome and would be fun to have cast, uh, philip at ronimogames.com. We'll, uh, we'll do the trick. So that's P-H-I-L-L-I-P -L -L -I at ronimo-games.com. Send me some replays. Uh, I'd be happy to go ahead and take a look specifically send me the match ids and i can go ahead and work with those as well um yeah yeah i'm excited for that as well that should be happening around noon my time so that'll be six o'clock for a lot of you folks in europe uh five o'clock for you folks in the uk and all that stuff now let's actually talk blightbound so blightbound has now officially had a couple of beta moments and everything and it is uh gone and it has gone through the gameplay trailer and all that stuff we can now actually show off gameplay which is going to be really really exciting uh but before, I'd like to go ahead and actually hit the first graphic like before that happens. So before we explain that, I'd like to go ahead and announce that the second uh, Blightcast episode will be coming out this Friday as well. This one's going to be with Lawrence. Now, Lawrence is one of the uh, is is one of the developers working on in the, in this particular case the the villains uh, and some of the mechanics behind that. Um, he, <laughs> yeah, it, we had a really we had a really cool conversation about. Uh, the different heroes and all that stuff, but after you see today's show, it'll actually seem a bit tame. Uh, and the reason why is because we're actually able to show you the whole flipping game. It's it's actually pretty intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the basics uh, of the game. Very specifically, I want to show you guys the main menu and stuff. So let's get this party started. Oh, one second. You need to be be, 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 be silent. <laughs> We've got different music now. So. Welcome to Blightbound. You might notice that my name and some numbers are showing up. Uh, this is because this is currently in the in the beta form. Uh, as beta form, this is not obviously the final product. A lot of stuff, particularly visual, uh, is likely to change uh, in some way, shape, or form, and has changed a lot even over the last month. Um, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's this is how you start off. So it is online only. Here we are. Um, and this is the main area where you start off. So, welcome to the refuge. If you have not yet played, you'll end up playing a tutorial. Now, I think the tutorial is a little bit borked at the moment. Uh, so, as of right now, if I play that, I will just automatically lose. Let's not do that. Um, but this is where every game starts off. Uh, currently, again, some things are still being developed. You can kind of see like, the edges on the statues here and everything. Uh, still need a little bit of work. But there are other things, like, say, this here, the Quartermaster, where it is... Hey, is that nice parallax? Is that 3D? That's 3D. Okay. Uh, this tent back here, also 3D. This stuff back here, also 3D. But there's other things that are not 3D. Um, Soul, if I beat you to be in the third backer. Dang it, Clement. <laughs> there better be no derples. No derples, I promise. So, um, this is like the main menu as it stands right now. There's a big play button. There's some weird thing here that has San Jose, North America there. We've got my name and a couple of empty slots. On the left side here, we got some other extra menus, uh, which we'll go through quickly. 
So, the first thing you start off with is with the Elder. And he tells you what's going on. So this is kind of like your profile experience. And as you get more and more profile experience, you unlock stat points for everybody. You get more like money. You get some other stuff. It's it's handy. Um, you you effectively become stronger the more account level you have, or just have more better access to uh, different stuff. Then uh, you have the quartermaster, and this is where you can equip your different items onto different people. Uh, items do have different rarities and such. Don't look at this one too much. But the other ones all seem to work. Then you also have the mentor. Now, the Mentor has a variety of different things that tell you what you've done. Um, as you can tell, I've tried to do the training and uh, been defeated twice. But uh, the, it also tells you what you've managed to accomplish in terms of victories, in terms of unlocks, uh, whether or not you've found new people to add to the refuge. This is effectively a log of what you've done. The, if, uh, if you've played Darkest Dungeon, this is the equivalent to your Gravekeeper. There's also a Bestiary. And the Bestiary tells you who drops and things and how and what. <laughs> Hilariously, this guy can drop a, a weapon called Bone Cut. Good job, buddy. That's probably a very low, 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 low chance. Um, this will tell you exactly what you're dealing with, what the possible rewards are, what they look like, uh, and some of the enemies up close and personal. I like this guy's top knot. It's pretty neat. Um, and you get to see that symbol just pop up all over the place, too. There's also a variety of... What's up with that? Is that an eyeball? That's an eyeball. That's very scary. Um, there are a lot of different things. If you saw the trailer, this guy should be familiar as well. Uh, and there's this guy here. Look, the bestiary is full of neat stuff. Um, we're not going to show you all of this stuff today. <laughs> there's just no way. Uh, but there is quite a lot that we can show you today. Finally, if you take a look and click the heroes, you can actually see the heroes up close. They breathe in through their nose, it turns out. Uh, they each have stat points you can take, and they each have different skills. Um... And they come in three different classes. At the moment, I haven't unlocked any of the other characters for each class, so I just have the three heroes here, Malboris, Scarlet, and Chorus. Uh, Malboris has several different abilities. Every hero has at least five different abilities and their class and their class passive. Uh, like, sorry, and their passive. The passive is unique to each and every character. So in Malboris's case, he takes 3% less damage for every enemy within six meters. Cool. Um, someone else, like, say, another character that will uh, eventually come out called Wretch, um... He, who's like just a horrible looking dude he does damage to all the swarmers so all the uh all of do, 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 these guys he just absolutely shreks through them and that's his passive so he kind of does the same job as the warrior but instead of tanking them he kills all the tiny ads and stuff so he ends up being more offensive that way um every single warrior will have access to sword strike and shield block these are the two class abilities the sword strike is your one two three hit combo uh, and then it also regens some HP based off of how of whether or not you have rage points or not um, built up, which you build up by having shield block. You'll see how all this works in a minute, but effectively, as long as you're blocking, you can build up rage points, and then when you have full rage points, you can have up to three. Uh, you can smash things and smash things with lots of damage. Then you have Titan skills. The Titan skills uh, you might see repeated on certain heroes, but every one of them has a different combination. So Malboris here has Bull Charge, which is an additional charge on top of their own like little dash that, that every warrior has. And then Lava Stomp, which Lava leads people in place. Side. Nice. Uh, and then you also have the Awakened Agent, which turns you into a big golden god. So, <laughs> And then you all your individual stats. They all have their own individual equipment. Uh, and then they all have their individual story as well, which is completely voice acted and everything. Um, that's for every hero, by the way. They have all of their own stories. They have all of their own stats. They have all their own items. They all have their own abilities. So, for instance, Chorus has Mana Orb spawn more often. Uh, every single one of them has shooting and healing. This guy could go ahead and have a splash damage thing and a personal shield. This, by the way, is absolutely amazing. Um, Scarlet just does a bunch of backstab damage. So, her thing is just doing a whole ton of damage. End of story. Uh, has access to a backstab execute ability, which does, you know, stuns and stuff. Scree saws, smoke bombs, and a meat grinder, which hopefully I get to show you show off to you guys because it's stellar. But yeah, and you can see all the characters up close and take a look at what the art, uh, you know, what the art's like. By the way, this is how Chorus looks like, RP. You did a really good job. What you did was super, super close. You might notice that all of them seem to have a specific color set in mind, and that's accurate. Uh, all the mages are going to be blue, all the warriors are going to be red, and all of the assassins are going to be green. But um based off of uh which ones they are they'll have slight they'll, they will have differences silhouettes will be mostly the same if you look close she's not wearing pants oh thank you jiggle physics yikes they did that breathing thing because yikes <laughs>
boots can be pants too? Oh, come on. So at this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the raffle site. Let's see who wins. Drum roll, everybody. Hey, look, everybody. PVT 2369. Congratulations. So far, we don't have cosmetics uh, in the game. So that's a thing. <laughs> Hashtag rigged. Dang right it is. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and start the raffle site one more time. Badoop. I know that. Cool. So we got another raffle site up and going. And now I'm going to go ahead and hop into the Ronimo Discord. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can't play some games. Uh, Hello. Okay. So uh, at this point. You might notice something here that says San Jose, N.A. I'm going to go ahead and go over to Amsterdam, because that's where they live, you see? It's going to make matchmaking a little bit easier. Um, hopefully it should help with the ping as well. Now, in order to start playing, there's a couple of things that are going on. First off, you don't get to choose your hero, at least not at first. Um, you do end up having to queue with one of those three at random. To do When you do this, though, at the end of the mission, no matter how you did, you get to cleanse 15% of your blight, which I'll explain in a uh, at the end of the next, uh, the first mission. You get more resources, and you get plus 2 to all your stats, so you're stronger for it, too. So it's incentivizing you to play a random character. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and search things up here. And then eventually, when the other guys hop on and start queuing, we'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and just let them know in the, in the slack that that is the case, in fact. We... Let, let's go, boys. Amsterdam. Oh, hello. Hey, there we go. Hey. How's it going? Hello. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, uh, just, just a heads up. Yeah. Uh, your voice is really low on the stream. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's 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 really low. Uh, I turned you up to 200 in here. Well, that can absolutely <laughs> change. Okay, cool. So hopefully this has changed it a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure why that is the case, but okay. Hopefully that that makes me sound a little bit louder. Um, but yeah, we've we've got at least two people in the queue already, so this is a good start. <laughs> We're just waiting on... There we are. Beautiful. So that's all three of us. Okay. And I got Scarlet. Fantastic. Um, let's see. Uh, what do you guys want I to do? I am El Boris. <laughs> I am El Boris. Uh, so we could go to the very first level, or we could go to the second level. Up to you guys. Uh, let's do the first one. All right. Sounds good. Easy one. Yep. So, answering the call. Now, you'll notice that there are a lot of different things going on there, folks. Um, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> we'll explain more of it as we go on. So, uh, let's get this party started. So, Lawrence is playing the mage right now, Chorus. Uh, and we've got Tomas here playing as Malboris. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay, so let's get this let's get this party started. Um, you'll notice that there are a lot of bad guys. The bad guys are fairly easy to deal with, especially as it's a first like the very first level of the game. Um, all these wretches are hand animated uh, and are two D, but the backgrounds are all three D, which is worth mentioning. Yo, you need to stop moving so much, my friend. There we go. Um, you'll also notice that the enemies drop items, that there's gold that you can find in the barrels, so smashing barrels is important. The heal is centered around the mage, so positioning is important. And you'll also notice that there's resources above everybody's head that stack up to three. Uh oh. Uh, we seem to have angered folks. So I'm gonna move around here, drop smoke bomb. Yes! Cool. Now, those blue things that are dropping down are called mana orbs. That's the mage resource. Mages need those in order to be able to heal. If you don't have mana orbs, then you don't have heals. In order to get them, the mage has to attack. It so it's constantly, constantly up to the mage to get attacks off and to be aggressive. Well Otherwise, there won't be enough mana orbs for them to be able to heal people. Cool. The rogues want to get in from behind people and do as much damage as possible. Or in front, if they're not Scarlet. Um, oh, great. I landed in one of those. That was easy. Uh, their main resource is just attacking people. Uh, they have combo points, much the same way that a rogue might in, say, like, well, a lot of different systems. Uh, the higher the combo points, the stronger your execute ability is, which also allows you to stun people out of certain animations and such. Oh, great! Uh, it's that bug. <laughs> and then, um, the warrior is going to get their resource, Rage, based off of how, uh, how, mo how well they block. So if you're blocking things properly and doing a good job of being defensive and of taking your time, 
then you get to do more damage and get some life steal. Uh, get some life gain as well. Run away from that, because I don't want to be a part of that. Saw blade, put out the cloud. And you know what? Meat grinder. Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay. Um, to answer someone in the, the chat, he was asking if there's uh, shared loot or not. Uh, basic weapons, if someone picks up gold, everybody gets On gold. Uh, and if someone gets an item, everybody gets uh, an ah. item of the same. Uh, no, wait, no, never mind. Uh, for items, it's different, actually. Oh. Um, you, you basically... Uh, everybody can pick up an item, but the items are basically um, divided among players um, equally. Yeah, so picking up the items is still a good thing to do. You always want to, and it's not... Like, you're not going to be able to just steal items from other players. Everybody, no matter what, is going to get an even amount of items. Um, this is going to effectively force people to, like, play together as much as possible. Which is good. It's kind of the point. Alright, well, so far, so good. We've managed to rescue a couple of people, and that's the point of this mission, is just finding some of the prisoners and releasing them from their cages as, as early as we possibly can. Sawblade! I really do love the saw blade on Scarlet. It's a lot of fun. Stabby, stabby. Okay, you'll see that there's little books floating behind Lawrence. Uh, those little books are like the ma like his mage ultimate ability. They effectively allow him to shoot more of those uh, more of his attacks, which means that there are going to be more um, more mana orbs for us to pick up, which is excellent. At least that's the point. Now, the thing I need to be doing a better job of is getting on the other side of the enemies that... Oh, hi there, friend. Nope. Leave me alone. I don't want any of that. Thank you. Uh, I want to get on the other side of the enemies that uh, Thomas is, is attacking. Because they are going to focus on him. Uh, he's the warrior, so he has aggro, as it were. A smart a smart assassin player will go ahead and stand behind the, attack, uh, the person that's getting attacked. A... Smart warrior will try to stay in one place for as long as possible. <laughs> At least that's the goal. Unless if I'm entirely incorrect, but that's just what I've noticed. Oop, run away. I don't want any part of that. Drop this. Back in. Oh, no! Get me out of here! Help! Might have had Lawrence? some white, white troubles. <laughs> Lawrence! Where'd you go? Oh, no, we're back. Uh, we're, we're live. Hey, we're back. <laughs> Help me! We're just Hold making things interesting over here. What happened? <laughs> Thank you for the heals. <laughs> Much appreciated. Back to the realm of the living and Twitch. Yay! That's good. Okay. Alright, well, we've kind of... Uh, have we not right. done everything I think here? we ran into an issue over here. Oh, did we? Because <laughs> I rescued the person. Yeah, we're and... stuck. You guys are stuck? <laughs> yeah, you're running through a, uh, through a wall for us. Yeah, okay, well, thinking. hold on. That's fine. I can handle this by myself. This can't yeah, go badly can at go all. If you go through a door, then uh, we can progress. Yep, that's the plan. Should merge back in. Oh, look at that. Hey, nice. Yep. Just uh, oh, give it a little bit for the door to open. It's fine. This first level has a couple little things like that still, but hey, we're getting there. And hey, you guys managed to get through your ghost door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It disappears when you open the, the door. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is the sound okay, folks? Let's take a look at chat. I'm, uh... Ooh. Got a little load screen in front of me. What about you, Lawrence? I do, too. My game is also loading. Ha! Huh. Excellent. It's called uh, the permaload. Something went wrong. Why don't we do the second level? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a good idea. Oh, uh, baby. Restarting the game, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to restart the game, too. Uh, right. Philip, you probably also need to reboot your game. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Be sure. So that's the one thing about the first level. That's one thing I've noticed about the first level is that does happen sometimes, uh, which is not ideal, obviously, but... We're still like like this is a beta. This is what happens. Um, uh, this is surprisingly the second time that something like that has happened, but it's been a different place every time. Okay. Play also, uh, I can confirm this in the in-game chat. Yeah, there is an in-game chat. Uh, there's also a 
communication wheel. So yep. like, if you're uh, mid combat, you can say like, "Oh hey, uh, help me." Um, there's also another nifty thing where you can um, you can like ping if you, if you're using mouse and keyboard, you can use uh, uh, like your middle mouse button to basically click on um, click on something, and the uh, the game is uh, the ping is con that's context sensitive. So if you're pinging on an enemy, then it's just like, oh, focus this enemy. Uh, if you do it on yourself, it says like, heal me, um, stuff like that. I am Alboris. <laughs> ah, now you can demonstrate Alboris's most interesting ability. Ooh. Oh chat yes, wheel, like greetings, shouting. <laughs> also dying. I die a lot in Alboris. Don't ask me why. So Alboris has a dash. He has his Titan charge. He's got a big stompo. He can block things. You'll see those little shields above my name. That's his rage mechanic. Um, yeah. The entire point of this mission is to raid as much of it as fast as possible and get out before the bell tolls nine times or something along those lines, I think. You stand still. No moving for you. Stop trying to attack me and attack me. Thank you. Smashy, smashy. Perfect. So this stuff... Is definitely a hack and slash, right? Like, oh, hold on. Greetings. Greetings. <laughs> we meet. Time for Malboris Glorious voice. I am Malboris. Malboris is my favorite Malboris. character in the game. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> it was especially funny, although completely unnecessary, when the chat wheel uh, was kind of spammable. So, at a certain point during development, you there was no cooldown on that. And so you can be like, I am, I am, I am, I am Malboris. <laughs> and it was... Yeah, you can rip. Oh, uh, rip. It's pretty great. Yeah, it's, it, it's great. It turns out the cooldowns are important. Uh, we're running around and we're rescuing these people, by the way, because they actually populate the refuge, um, which allows you to get more stuff out of the place. So it's, it is important to actually find as many people as possible and rescue them. Barrels must be smashed. Now, if you're wondering whether or not this can be played with a controller or a mouse and keyboard, I'm now going to swap over to a controller, uh, and it That's should so work much. just fine. Yep, yeah, there it is. Wah, wah, wah. Shield, For Seward, I stand ready. Uh, let's just see if I can remember the buttons, though. Smashy, smashy, smashy. Uh, a button does the dash. Right, very good. B is guard. Y is the foot stomp. No, Y is the charge, which actually gives you an indicator, which is pretty sweet. It's gonna take me a little while to understand what's going on. Ooh, this is new. I haven't seen this shiny statue here before. A curious device. Be revived. Be healed. Okay, let's keep moving. Basically, um, throughout the level, you can find uh, uh, you can find different characters. Uh, these can be either. Uh, New uh, new characters you could play, but it could also be um, uh, surviving heroes, um, and they can help you in the refuge. Uh, some more stuff about it later, I think. Yes, I believe so. Yeah. I'm trying to block, by the way, but they so, never uh, seem to attack when I want them to. It also rewards the player for like walking around and try uh, discover new things, and um, yeah. Nope, that's the wrong button. I look super cool, though. Look at my fiery hair. Nice. Freddy boy style. Party boy style. Okay, wallers. Always fun. Thanks for the heals. Also, that lifesteal effect on uh, Malboris' attack is actually way doper than I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like a little bit of lifesteal, it'll be fine. No, it's actually legitimately good. <laughs> Why don't you go on ahead, slow wolf? Okay, sure. Yeah, sure, you go. <laughs> oh, uh, fun! Excellent! Yep, thanks! Very good! That is a Pac-Man. That is not fun. Uh, I believe I've been duped and tricked. <laughs> like, hello, thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> Who programmed that one? Was that you, Thomas? No, I actually made that one. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Jerk move. Very funny, though. <laughs> You're fine if you've left some barrels behind. You know what? That's fine. Uh, those barrels weren't that important anyway. <laughs> I didn't need them. <laughs> I was going to 100% the game at this rate. I hate it. Alright. My shield, I stand ready. We meet. Greeting. I am now tidings to Alan, are you here to assist me? Stop trying to attack me and attack me. Oh no, I've been stuck. Hey, it's the raffled side, everybody. Hold on a moment. We're in the middle of a fight here. I cannot just leave. Thank you for the HPs. Okay, you two go on without me while I go ahead and draw our winner. And the winner is, for the second one, Mega Kevin! Congratulations. Congratulations, Mega Kevin. Where's, yeah, where's the, where's the, uh, congratulations button? It's, a uh, nice work. Thanks, assist me. <laughs> Come help! <laughs> Come help! <laughs> That's a good one. Which is weird, considering that Malboros does not want help and thinks that he's the strongest of them all. Okay, switch to Oh, uh, snap. Oh, snaps. Uh, uh, oh, it's this puzzle! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hold on! Sleepy guys, do it. <laughs> Wait, what? I'll leave this um, one up to you. It's not. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get the no! Oh, that was gonna go in the other corner. No, no, it's just almost there. I think. No, hold, hold on. Oh, I could press this one and then then it doesn't work. Never. <laughs> no, no, no. Can you yeah, still have this one? Oh, keep going. So you go here. Oh, no, well, well, what are you doing? Stop, you know, you stop it now. I'm not skipping in here with this, right? Okay. Wait, hold on. We almost had something right there. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. We did. Oh, wait. Well, no. Pro yeah, problem no. is that one there, see? <laughs> now, usually I'm pretty good at these kinds of things, but now, 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 now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, now if I do <laughs> this here. Um... <laughs> I was gonna wait, say yeah. almost, but not quite. No, no. no. Yes. Uh, wait. Yeah. We're halfway done. Uh, not we're even almost there. Halfway. Yeah. Oh, all the lights. Are... <laughs> Hold on, and then I'm gonna do this, which swaps so those to be dark. To the next so I'm gonna do this. No, 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 no! Shut up. We can do this. Don't be so rude. This is this is manageable. Also, just walk out of the room. I mean, we. Oh, whoa! Oh. <laughs> Look, all you need to do was let me think for two seconds. Ooh, big brain. <laughs> Very proud. <laughs> the of next you. 15 minutes of the stream does it in 15 seconds. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> now, I can imagine that would be hard without voice chat, to be fair, so. It'll be harder with all three people at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> just, just smashing the things. <laughs> flipping the switch. <laughs> flip, 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 flipping the switch. Boink. There needs to, like, if Sonic Picnic could just make a dubstep remix of that particular voice line, I think I'd be okay with that. They should have put it on the, uh, the new LP that they're releasing. <laughs> That's the Awesome Nuts LP. What Beats we need now is the Blightbound LP. <laughs> Ronin's Crypt. Oh. Um, I've never seen this before. You? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you later, then. Can you at least attack the wall? This passive. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was outstanding! Hey, Blatoy, if you're in the chat, there, uh, there it was. There's your out of bounds. I know that Blatoy uh, has been asking about that. So, oh my gosh, get me out of here! Oh, be careful. Who needs to be careful? I am Alboris. Enemies approach. Oh boy. Oh, I ran into one of those. Oh, no, that was fun. Oh, get me out, please. You're having fun get me, get me out. No, I'm not having uh, fun. Please get me out. I would like to I would like to leave this place, thank there you. There you go. Much appreciated. Oh, you got stuck in the invincibility aura of the shield though. Really? Oh, right. I couldn't yeah. be attacked. <laughs> it's uh, when you get trapped, there's there's just like this big tentacle enemy that shields uh uh, his allies, so nearby enemies, basically. Yep. Uh, and then you can't hit him, and he was a bit too close. The the trap was a bit too close to that uh, weird tentacle of that guy, uh, which makes it so you can't actually open the the trap. 
first left to kill him. Return to the beginning. It adds an extra layer of challenge. Yeah. Ding and it dong also dong means dong that if everybody is trapped, pray. Yes, I suck at blocking attacks. What do you want from me? I think it's about time we return back to uh, our starting position. I agree. It said to. Also, there's a big, there's a big ding dong bell now, kind of going ding dong, ding dong. And if we don't, then we're gonna die. So we need to leave. Yeah. That might be plenty of motivation to get out there as fast as possible. Yeah, I agree. Wait, let's do this first. <laughs> sure, why not? What could possibly go wrong in the storage room? Time pauses in here, right? Uh, right? <clears throat> right? Ultimate power! Um, ultimate power! <laughs> That's it, it looks very quiet. But... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna say, honestly, playing this on controller feels nice. Um, oh, yeah, but I, I think I'm gonna switch back to, what's the sword attack symbol? Oh yeah, that's... wait. That's what I talked about, like, if you press the middle mouse button, you can... Oh, it's uh, the ping! That's super cool! Yeah, that's the ping. Like, it's context sensitive, so if you press an enemy, it says, like, oh, kill that one! Or if you do it on, uh, on yourself. Ah, uh, now that is handy. Then you, yeah, then you ask for heals. <laughs> this adds a hunting party! Bye bye <laughs> We're already gone. Or you can also just, like, click it, so you can tell people to is this, uh, move the frick uh, Is up. this not faster? Well, we have to hurry, you know. Oh, or, or do we have to go left? the way that we came? Ooh. I don't think we're even gonna have time to regret going into that side room. <laughs> yeah. Does it actually uh, reduce when you're in the side room yet? I think it just did. Oops, no. Okay, we actually don't Let's have time. Let's go! <laughs> we got plenty of time, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, shoot. You only got like half the level to traverse to get back to where we were originally started. Well, you know, I'll have you know that there, there seemed to be a shorter way by going north in that one way, but I guess I was wrong. Besides, we can just run away from a lot of these battles, right? We don't have to fight every single hunting party. Right? Actually, you might have had We probably should have gone the other way. Whoosh. Ding, dong, dong, ding. Dong, ding, ding, dong. We got this, we got this. I mean, we do gotta kill all those enemies. Greed is good. got to be real with you. Ding dong, ding dong. Yes, yes, indeed we do. Let's go. Back. What? Which enemies where? Right here. Who left enemies alive? <laughs> I mean, they creep, they creep up right behind me. Uh, that's why I knew. Nice. Ding, ding, ding dong. Your ultimate really helped in, uh, in that fight, uh, Philip. Yay. Does it do a whole bunch of burst damage when I use it? Yeah, it does an initial burst, and then all your uh, damage is also increased. Well, snacks, that's awesome. Is, it, th is it not damage, this way? Right? Yeah, to, to the right might be faster. Let's go. Uh, is it? Okay. I, I mean, think I we'll thought look it was. back around and enter through on the, the right Jones side instead of, the, of the going back through the left. It's not <sighs> this way. <sighs> okay, look, <laughs> Malboros, we know, we get it. Come on, man. Oh, and, uh, we got a little sage over here. I think this is it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is a bit too much. I got stuck in a completely different fight! Jim is winning this! Jim is winning this, he stars! Everything is turning up. Well, there's a, there's a tentacle guy coming your way, folks. Great. Oh, nice. You shielded yourself so you could revive me. This is what happens when we split oh, up. Don't you. split the party. <laughs> And by that I mean, oh, incoming oh. Pac-Man? Oh my come word. On, come on, come on. Okay, come on, boom! Over here. Everybody come oh. here for heals. No, 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 this, this, this oh, we're good. It's so hectic. <laughs> the great bell tolls. Okay, that lady is super toast. Come on, smashy, smashy. We gotta go faster. Yes, yes, move forward, come on. Whoosh! Oh, no. oh, One left, come on, go, 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 go! Up, 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 we got this! Buddy in the door. Ding, 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 dong! <laughs> Wait, we're nearly there, this way. Uh, it's to the left, right? Yes, yes, I do believe we've made it in time. Oh, I told you we were fine! That is way too clutch for my liking. <laughs> Let's go! That's right, attack me, boys! Useful! Useful. Boom! 
Nine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't he help died. it. I can't help it. Smashy. Wow. That was that? That was 5,000 damage. I felt pretty good about that. Boink. Even across reality, Genji still cocoons you. <laughs> Truth and frustration. Boink. Get out of here. Okay, now this is this is the big one. We we wiped last time we went up against the twin sisters. Let's let's do this properly. Be yeah. safe. Don't stand uh, in lasers. There's no time pressure. Also, Pac-Man. So, uh... Slow. Uh, did you announce the raffle winners? I did announce the raffle winners for the second raffle site. I'm just oh no, I got Pac-Man here. While I'm Pac-Man, I'm gonna oh, go ahead you. and see if I Wait, restarted the stream. Right, I'll, I'll leave you on the Come ground on. then. All right, well, I've started another raffle. That, yeah, that, that, that was the problem. I forgot to start can, another raffle. Uh, maybe help him. I'll go in and declare uh, two winners after this raffle. If I go to the left, I can... Uh... Oh, okay. I'm running left, then. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, also... I'll okay, talk... okay, okay. I'll go. I'll go. I'll yeah, go. Uh, or whoever's reviving can go ahead and get... If they if you guys get shielded, that works, dude. Oh, my word. Oh, oh my <laughs> HP. Help help me live. Help me live. <laughs> help me live out. harder. Thank you. Can I can heal? Nice. Oh, big angry man! I got my books. Oh, picked on another minute. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Almost dead. Turning into a real mess. <laughs> Boom! Oh, that was way too close. What are you talking about? It was fine. Easy peasy. Loot. Trollololololol. That was easy. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> easy, man. Easy. First try. Yeah. No, that went off without a hitch. Uh, we did a great job there. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, here's something I want to explain to you folks a little bit. So, at the end of every mission, uh, your heroes get blighted a little bit. By going, by venturing from the refuge and going to a smoky place full of monsters that tends to corrupt people, turns out that's not good for your health. So, uh, this little meter here, which goes down and down and down, the more you adventure uh, and the more you get knocked out, uh, is how blighted you are. The lower it is, the more blighted you are. If you ever get fully down there... Uh, then you are blight struck and you cannot play that character again for some time. Now, if you are randomly choosing characters, as it is right now, um, you cannot get blight struck. If you choose a specific character, then you do not get a 15% bonus at the end of the mission here. So, blight cleansed by queuing with blight bound. Um, that is only gettable if you randomly pick between the three classes. If you're picking a specific character every time, you don't get that bonus. So, um, Again, trying to convince people to play more randomly stuff. Oh, notoriety increased. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, now, did I get any neat gear from all that stuff, actually? I'm all kitted out and ready What's to rumble. This? Plus 40% ultimate damage. Well, I'm still equipping oh. some items and leveling up my, my character. Let's go! Complete a run, uh, your character levels up, and then you can spend uh, stat oh, points. Oh, yeah! I did level up. Nice. Uh, yeah, you can show it. So... Uh, at this point, we've leveled up with Malboris. Uh, he's now level 2. And we get 3 stat points to put into things. So you've got power, which is how much damage you do, effectively. Uh, you can get all your stats up to 10 maxed out. Um, I think that's how that works. Uh, power is your damage. Agility increases your movement speed and your critical damage. Uh, vitality increases the amount of HP you get. Uh, will increases reduces your Titan skill cooldowns. In this case, that's the charge, the lava stomp. Um, and it also makes you more resistant to blight, which is important if you want to queue with that one person over and over again. And then luck just increases your critical chance, as well as the level of items you find. So that's really good for most assassins. Um, for my case, I think I want to go at least one power, one vitality, and I do need a little bit more movement speed, so I'm going to go ahead and put one into agility as well. That'll also increase my critical damage by a little bit, so every time I do get a crit, it'll yes. be nice. Also, I would like to add, um... That each character has a different like starting template where where their stats uh, begin. So for yeah. instance, Melpora starts with like a lot of uh, points in vitality. He's a beefy boy, but there's also uh, a couple of warriors. They are uh, less tanky, uh, they kind of like a, a hybrid. So uh, also a bit of damage. Like uh, and uh, well, like... I mentioned Wretch earlier, right? I think he's got a bit more yeah, power exactly. than your you average mentioned... warrior does. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and there's also. Uh, Another warrior, uh, Krom. <laughs> um, I love him. Which has a really cool ultimate, uh, which is does a lot of damage. So you might also want to consider like a different build for it. Yeah. So for Krom, uh, the build that I think I found that worked well in uh, development 
builds at the moment was to go for items that reduced the amount of time it took to get your titan skill cooldown and then really pumping your will so that way you were constantly jumping around getting your ultimate doing a bunch of aoe damage oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah and, and he also has a taunt. interesting thing because with chrome uh he has like a passive that uh you charge ultimate faster if you uh, use skills but since his ultimate uh so you could consider like uh, making a build that lowers uh, cooldowns, so you get your ultimate faster, for instance. Yep. But you could also consider uh, going more for like critical damage or power in general. Um, so uh, you have your ultimate less times, but when you do get it, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Will serve me well Absolutely. Um, um, like like that. All and all the heroes have stuff like that. Uh, ooh, sounds yeah, good. Plus two hundred percent damage to both Titan skills. That's tempting uh that would be very tempting on chorus actually are you ready to roll up boys oh yeah no i read it up uh we're sorry, still uh, equipping ah! <laughs> we also gain something here called notoriety so as you queue together as a group you become more notorious uh it says here the party caught the eye of powerful blighted enemies next time this group heads out one or more of the dungeons will be extra dangerous which coincides with extra rewards so if you're particularly good with a group, uh, you can try going for effectively a high score kind of system in this and really ramping up the difficulty while getting a bunch of sweet gear. Um, the better you are at the game, obviously the more that this will be useful. And if you go with a people uh, like a group and you don't like playing with them or you found that, hey, that's enough with them, there's always the leave party button. If you do that, though, your notoriety instantly goes back down to zero and resets. Um, you need to be with the same party multiple times in order to get the notoriety bonus so playing with All friends right. is helpful or queuing with the group that you think works well is also helpful so you'll notice here that it's we're not doing that one because that one has bugged for me twice um <laughs> but it is the it is the notoriety one uh and it'll show you now that we as the players we have a team power of about three that number is a little bit difficult for me to explain do either of you two understand it uh the power numbers better or no uh sorry what could you repeat that? So the player, so there's the team power and then the monster power, and in this case it's three yes. versus six. What does that mean exactly? All oh, right. Um, so the power level is based on the team. So if your character is a certain level, uh, I think it is, um, and you have certain uh, gear equipped, and you get to a certain uh, power level, um, and it's, I believe the average of everyone. And then you have the monster level, which is basically. Uh, the difficulty of the run um, and that's also based on power level on your team and for instance in here uh, we are power level 3 and uh, the dungeon we're doing is also uh, level 3 nice. however right. uh, we have a notoriety because we are already like a group and we had such a good run uh, <laughs> <we actually gained. laughs> it was easy what are you talking about uh, we actually gained notoriety, um, so the enemies uh, are now stronger this time if we stick in the same party. Uh, what? I walked out of that, I swear to goodness. <laughs> I swear! <laughs> you're kind of slow, Wolf. Oh, oh no, as no. if that's the first time I've heard Instantly, that joke. Everybody left the stream. <laughs> I'll show it right. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nicely done. Oh, and we don't have any mana. Excellent. Oops. I'll get it, Bray. Oh. Doing okay over there, Lawrence. What? Yeah. I fell in a trap with those books uh, of my ultimate that actually rescued me. So you can already tell that I'm losing a little bit more HP a little bit more quickly right now. I really need a better shield. <laughs> Like, Building help also really helps with surviving. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I put on a new health item uh, that I got. But... Oh, nice. Uh, I... Yeah, that's mana. Ah, oh, shoot. Wait, uh, shield me... yourself and then revive me, yeah. Oh. Well, that worked. I'll take it. That works. I can revive you while I'm trapped. Okay, nice. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. Cool. I did not get a chance to play a whole lot of the beta last weekend, so my characters are all still very low-leveled and have almost no gear. Oh! Little friend always gets beaten uh, down. Wolf, no. Conked in the back of the head. Oh. Cool. 
So this is already a lot more difficult than the first time we tried this this stream. <laughs> what? I didn't take Fingers damage from that. Skills, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, if you if you charge, you're uh, immune to damage. Ooh. I like the little visual, by the way, that we put on. Oh my god, hi everybody. So if you're really uh, pro, uh, pro gamer, you can also time it to avoid uh, okay. heavy hitting. Okay, I keep getting attacks. stun locked out of my attacks. I'm really mad about this. Ah, yes. Now, never forget that the Swarmers are the strongest enemy in the game. <laughs> they, they really are! <laughs> like... Oof. Turns out that crowd control and killing a big group of enemies quickly is actually a skill. Last time we met in this arena, there was, was a, a puzzle. <laughs> would have stumped me if not for you. Perhaps. Perhaps. Boink. So, Malboris is currently going through his story a little bit. Um, spoilers, I guess. But <laughs> it's not a big deal. So, for Malboris' story, his big thing is... What are you doing over there? Everybody stick together, otherwise bugs no, are going to happen. I had a story item over here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I didn't even see that. Uh, what, 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 it, let, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We can take different branches. I'm, no, I'm scared. This? This different branches causes bugs. I don't want them. Ba boink Oh. Oh, look, it's Jasper. It's Jasper. Ow, 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 ow. No healing oh, he mode. up after all. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. We're going to have maggots all over. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Okay, smash him. DPS time. Wait, okay, guess not, guess not, guess no! not, guess not, guess not, guess not. Don't die on me. Oh, please. Nice. I thought that I that was uh, like I know that we're supposed to run away from that, but I was kind of like, hey, we can DPS that, can't we? Useful. <laughs> Useful. Apparently, we could. Uh, yes, this game has uh, controller support. Yep, uh, I was playing controller earlier. Here, let me just hop on controller again. There we are. It's that easy. Like I literally just picked it up, and there we go. We're back onto it. You can see all your skills and everything whilst in controller mode as well. So. Oh. Let me shield you. I really have no luck with mana. Oh! And your chorus, huh? <laughs> that is good on my feet, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just... It's luck, man. Yeah, no, there is, so, there is, there is uh, a current mana explain luck. explain how mana works. Um, basically, on your auto attacks, you increase the chance of getting... Uh, uh, of dropping a mana orb. If uh, on your uh, on the last hit of your auto attack, like the big hand, basically can drop uh, mana. Uh, those are like the blue balls that uh, are sometimes appearing on the ground. Um, however, the chance of receiving mana gets increased each time uh, no mana drops. Basically, each time you hit. Uh, oh come on now! Uh, and I just had like a super long dry streak of. Uh, <laughs> Which happens. No mana. Which absolutely happens, but it is totally okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get this guy off of me! <laughs> Wait, let me shield you. It's Ikkom, why? Uh, Just... I'll, I'll revive. I don't have the shield on, so I might as well. PT oh my HP, oh. holy cow. Wait, I feel. Do we have this? Nice. Yes, we do. Oh, oh it's... It's inside him. Lame. Inside him. Not permitted. Out, 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 out. Ah! I'm on the wrong side of life. I'm so sorry. Four books. Nice. There. Mana. For you, more mage. Mana, more mana. Mana for you, okay, mage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Nice. I don't know what killed him, but he died. Yeah, my books. I have four books. You had four <laughs> books? <laughs> So your ultimate makes books, the books also shoot hands. Do the hands spawn more mana orbs? Uh, so what did you say? Uh, so your ultimate as Chorus has yeah. you, um... There we go, got him. Uh, your ultimate spawns books. The books allow you to get more, um... More, like, more shots effectively, right? Do those yeah. shots give you more access to mana? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, I no, think it does. Hit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's on. only your own hit? Okay. 
I haven't really uh, paid uh, much attention. Uh, I can check it out. Yeah, it's only uh, your own hits. Owie. Stupid belly rot. <laughs> you can tell there are elites. Uh, if they've got a name like that, then they are an elite. That's how that one works. Ooh, and we also got some pretty sweet loot there. That was nice. At least I did. Yeah, elite gets cool special moves. Show me your moves! Uh, it would be really cool if we can actually show... Uh... One of the bosses. Well, we did, yeah, like one of the bigger bosses. That would be sick. Bigger you know what? Bosses. Um, do we have access to? I don't think I we think have we access have to any bosses to, uh... except for the one at the end of this level, which doesn't really count. Uh, and we did the twins, which is pretty sweet. Twins are cool. Yee. Oh, hey, look. Uh, Rafflesite. Uh, okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Rafflesite very quickly. Uh, for this one, we're going to go ahead. And draw two winners, just so that way we can all go home at a certain time. And our two winners for the last one, we have the Grad Staff and B Buggy Jug. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> you two. So that's PVT2369, Mega Cat, and the Grad Staff and Buggy Jug. You all get a Robo Scoop at the end of the stream. Congratulations. There will be no more Raffle Zites, but we will finish this level. We will absolutely finish this level first. Because I want to play this game. Ooh, okay, cool. There's stuff going on over there. Oh. A little bit of sneak peek, which you can see over here on the left. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. They literally have not had a chance to hit me anytime that I'm ready for it because of the fact that you keep killing them and stunlocking them first. I think I hate it's it. They're their backs. They're related. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. I've got the big charge ready. Are you ready for this? Oh, this is gonna be Fiata, so nice. cool. Yeah. Money for everyone. So there are enemies that are uh, that have a cool name above the head. Yeah, the elite. Basically, uh, they have unique abilities or sometimes <laughs> uh, do different stuff. Like this one, it's pin Pinata. He drops uh, loot. It literally says pinata too, so you don't have to call yeah. a loot pinata and be like, "Oh, that's jargon for loot." No, it's literally a loot pinata. Yeah. You literally see the modifiers above their head. It's pretty great. Yeah, so the modifiers can be a little bit more dangerous and difficult, though. Stuff like, uh... You'll find that stuff like, um... Oh, come on, attack me! Thank you. Oh, oh, now right? you... Every time. Well, Every time. Um, yeah, you'll find that... Oh, here's one. Uh, another fast pinata. Thank you, Goldtooth, for existing. Pinata that was lucky. Uh, loot. <laughs> I'll take it. Free loot. Nice. Um, but then you also have stuff like slow, um, uh, like what other modifiers are there actually? I, yeah, I, yeah, every time instance, have a, um, blood pools pop up, I think, on a, one of them. Yeah, you have a beamer, um, that on the teleport summons copies of herself. Oof. Um, they like die in one hit, so you kind of have to like figure out which is the, the real one, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, or sometimes, um, uh, you have an enemy that you, uh, maybe have already seen. It's almost like a big uh, row of walls, like uh, bones, I mean. Uh, and there could also be a, uh, a named enemy that instead of summoning those, um, uh, those bones out of the ground, he, um, he summons like one of those big Pac-Man uh, enemies. Or, uh, summons like a separate bone underneath uh, all players. To deal like huge damage and uh, knockback. Not again! So definitely uh, different things up in the mix. Mm -hmm. That last one is incredibly dangerous, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I think we've. I think I've been wiped by that one at least a couple of times. <clears throat> Specifically in the twins boss fight, I think. Um, like they have. So oh, it's another that's pinata. Another Hey, that's... So many pinatas. That's the third We're one. We're having our own raffle side. <laughs> <laughs> raffle side. <laughs> Let's go. Get out of here. Wow. So, I don't think we're supposed to have three of those in a row like that, but hey, numbers, man. <laughs> RNG Jesus is looking kindly upon us. us. <laughs> the end of my grand adventure. All right. Uh, attack enemies to keep their attention, as indicated by the thingamajig. I will try my best. Like, I, I want to keep their attention, but I keep wanting to block as well. <laughs> Time to push through the eastern bluff. Charge! Look ahead. 
Look ahead. More baddies. <laughs> Everybody's invisible. Oh, okay, so that's cool. If uh, you attack them as the warrior, you'll notice that their health bar, the enemy health bar, changes to like a silver pointy thing at some point. That's me actually getting their aggro properly. I need to look for that more. Yep. Uh, we are now joined by a gang of little friends. <laughs> yeah, and keep. Uh, have you guys managed to keep them alive? Yeah, yeah. I can, as a wizard, I can heal them or shield them. Um... They're also a good source of ultimate charge, so they're worth keeping alive. Yeah, they give a lot of ultimate to the wizard. Um, I mean, uh, there are also other skills that can interact with them, and uh, they deal actually pretty hefty damage. So it's worth keeping them alive. So get the aggro, run away from the health. tentacles. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, there's one lone friend over here. Uh, uh, I'm in the tentacle, yet not in the tentacle. I am now uh, invisible. Interesting. You probably have to get caught by another tentacle, I assume. Alright, well, I'll find another tentacle. <laughs> if, if it lets me. Uh, Otherwise, you guys the... are currently 2v1ing. <laughs> You're gonna be 2-manning the rest of this fight. <laughs> I mean, if we can keep the NPCs alive, maybe we can do it. Yep. This level. I swear this level, man. Maybe if I uh, <laughs> click on the mouse or something like that? Nah, I don't know. Wait, tentacle monster. Oh, so, hey, we got one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it spit oh. a thing it's attacking the guys instead no don't attack my friend uh, uh, lame why is it that it? every time i'm on the field those guys are spewing tentacles every other attack oh hey guys mclord where's mclord mclord is here mclord is invisible huh? mclord was invisible yeah okay cool he was a bit shy he didn't want to show himself in the cutscene that's fine oh i got stopped i can be dealt damage that's cool. Maybe he can, uh, maybe he can kill me. Nope, he's gonna die first. Oh, gee, I... <laughs> Cheers. Oh, we got a new shield. Sweet. And uh, you right. get, do you get more loot for right. keeping more people alive? By the way. We lost one friend. I, uh, I, uh, I lost one uh, big guy. Oh, I see. Nah, no biggie. The first to laugh at my puzzle solving becomes minced meat. <laughs> Thank you, Malboros. So, a blight from adventuring, 18% blight from KOs, 10%, and then I get another 15% back because I queued with randoms. So long as that doesn't hit zero, I will not get blight struck. Ooh. Wow. And we got a lot of oh, items. Yeah. Got some nice looks from that. Yeah, me too. Ooh. Including, oh, notoriety rewards. So uh, the more notoriety you get, or if you complete it, it nice. gives you a little exclamation mark. The notoriety reward gave me an actually good shield. So... <laughs> And the notoriety increased even higher. So now if uh, Thomas and Lawrence and I were to continue queuing, we could find an even crazier fight to get into. And that would get pretty nuts pretty fast. We've also, uh, thanks to rescuing some people and defeating the mission and all that stuff, we got more experience with the refuge. So now the refuge is level 6, uh, which means we now have access to the merchant. Uh, and all that stuff. Which means, or we can actually recruit the merchant, which costs money. Um, or the blacksmith. Uh, by recruiting these people, you end up getting access to um, different bits. So the blacksmith here costs 7,000. Well, we got 7,000. Thank you very much for the loot pinatas game. Um, cool. Defeat the Writhing Oracle. That's a boss we have to get to eventually. And then the other one we can uh, pick up here is the merchant. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, which increased our prosperity even higher. So now we've bought all the artisans, and you can see that the refuge itself has been populated a little bit more. Now, these haven't been completely finalized in 3 d uh, as much yet as, say, this one here, but uh, you can see that the refuge starts to populate, and the idea is that over time we'll be able to add more and more things um, to the game uh, and have more merchant, like have more stuff going on here. So the merchant you, is where you can go ahead and buy and sell new gear. The blacksmith is neat because you can take older gear that isn't as good mix it in together to forge better gear so i can make a new sword i could take some like effectively all the other items you pick up become materials for later on things um and if you don't want to use a certain thing or if you think it's useless for you you can go ahead and just sell it to get more sparks to allow you to build more stuff you need the sparks to be able to build stuff in the first place um so yeah money's important and you can see all your resources down here um the sparks are the one that you end up using a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot so um, and that's, that's kind of Blightbound, guys, at the moment. Um, 
it's obviously not all of it. We haven't found the other heroes. We still haven't unlocked, you know, full prosperity on our uh, on our elder by any stretch of the imagination. We still have a lot left to go on that front, actually. Uh, and there's a lot to explore in terms of levels. Now I'm kind of sad I got Malboros a million times. I would have liked to have played Chorus once, but uh, yeah. Hopefully that, that hopefully that was a, a very interesting show for you guys. Forging stuff from junk is always good. Yeah, so your junk is never bad. Imagine being carried by the designers. Neil, come at me. <laughs> Does unlocking NPCs only for you? Only for you. Only for you. Everybody's uh, account level, effectively, or their prosperity level of their refuge, is for them specifically. So... It, as you go ahead and unlock, you know, the blacksmith and everything, you'll have access to that, but your friends that get into the game brand new will have to go ahead and do that themselves. Game's looking solid so far? Yeah, so far. And there's still a lot of development to go. Even when this thing goes into EA, we're not planning on, on stopping. There's going to be more heroes, there's going to be new items, there's going to be new content as we go along and as we move along. Um, I already know that we're, like... <laughs> remember when we were in the grave mark and I got ambushed by that one big Pac-Man skull thing? That's... That's a baby challenge room. That's a baby trap room. If you <laughs> Let's put it that way. There's, there's, there are some being developed right now that are super, super cool. They will not be out uh, when it, when it's a lot, uh, out on EA because there still needs to be a lot of polish on those. But we want to create really cool puzzle rooms and stuff like that. How do you get characters? By playing. Uh, the more you play, you'll end up finding the characters out in the world. And you rescue them, much like those people that we rescued uh, throughout the earlier levels. Those people that were on the ground. Uh, if you beat the level at that point, then you rescue the hero and you can go ahead and use that hero in future uh, engagements and stuff. And they'll level up and do all their stuff as per usual. And you can then choose which warrior, which assassin, and which mage you want to queue with, even if you random. So at that point, you can still pick your three favorites, but then which of those three you play every time will be different. Um, unless you get, you know, Malboros three times. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really, really sweet. Uh, since we're all still here, Lawrence, Thomas, thank you very much for hopping on and helping me showcase this stuff. Um, yeah, you're welcome. It was awesome. Yeah. I'm, what I'm hoping uh, to do is... like our bell run. Yeah, man. The bell run was tight. <laughs> that was super good. Yeah. And maybe next time we can show uh, one of the bigger uh, bosses. Yeah, uh, we'll go to Gravemark Level 2. Um, Gravemark Level 3 would be really sweet to show off because I think that that's probably my favorite boss fight out of the bunch. Hmm. Um... All right. Uh, yeah, so next week, hopefully we'll have some more gameplay uh, with uh, a, a new patch with some more content, or at least show you further on content. Um, and yeah, that that's Blightbound. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop off the Discord server. Again, Lawrence, Thomas, thank you very much for hopping on and helping me out with this. And uh, if you guys are down for this next week around the same time, that would be sick. Yeah, right. thank you for uh, having us. And it uh, was, uh, was a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, see you two tomorrow. Yes, man. You. Sure. All right. And then as for the rest of you, hey, folks. It's me again. I know. Blightbound is a lot prettier than I was. But I hope you guys enjoyed this very first look at, like, how Blightbound is currently looking in its development state. As you can see, it's already pretty far along, and it's doing pretty well for the first, like, we did the first two levels, effectively. That's what we did. Not bad for the first two levels. But as we play and everything, things will get more and more difficult. Yes. Uh, so, Uyo, will there be unlocks that require you to do higher difficulties? I mean, that's what notoriety is for. Uh, as you play, you'll be able to find those, not those notorious levels, and those will allow you to do more and more difficult levels. Uh, by doing those more and more difficult levels, you get better gear. Uh, you get access to like just more challenging rooms and such. And the longer you queue with those people, the more those levels will pop up and the more difficult they'll be. So it ends up becoming a challenge to see just how hard you can push yourself at that point. There are also a lot of levels that we haven't been able to uncover or show you guys today because we haven't got the accounts that far along. I'm hoping this weekend to play a lot uh, in, in uh, the beta, which you can sign up for, by the way. Uh, Devolver has a form that you can fill out to be a part of their beta squadron. You can actually fill that out and try to and try to apply to be a part of the Blightbound beta. So go ahead and check that out. I'll make sure to go ahead and tweet out a link to that sometime soon. Because um, I don't have the link directly in front of me right now. Uh, actually, I might. Hold on. Let me go ahead and take a look. Let's see if I can find it relatively quickly. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I do have it. Okay, so if you are interested in doing the beta thing, but up, go check that out. Sign up for the beta squadron for Devolver Digital. They uh, they might be able to help you out. No guarantees there. The grass needs some work. Come on. 
Uh, though we obviously want to release on other platforms as well. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, are stats random for gear? Uh, no, I don't think so. Here, let me show you. So let's go to the blacksmith for a second. Uh, it's going to take some... Uh, what do I want to build in the long run? I want to build myself a shiny new... Not that sword. That sword's going to take... That we can't we can't do that sword, but I want to build up to that. So the infused rune sword I think would be really really good. Yeah, the infused rune sword would be really really good. So what I need for it are barbarian shields, metal plates, large fangs. This sword will have the same stats on it every time, um, but we do need to craft the other stuff. So can I make some metal plates, please? Uh, I'd like to forge it out of this one, please. Forge uh, two. That should do the trick. And then what else do we need for the infused rune sword? We need another metal plate. Okay, one more metal plate. Uh, do this one. Why not? Okay. Now, at this point, I think what we're missing are the sparks. Yeah, we're about 600 sparks shy. So, I'm going to go back to the merchant. Uh, and I would like to sell... Let's see. This. That helped. And sell... One of these barbarian shields, at least. So, cool. That should bring us up to the amount that we needed. We go back to the blacksmith. We can make some fine gloves. That's good. How many? How much am I shy now for this infused rune sword? Oh, come on. I'm 80 gold off. Back to the merchant. I need to sell one more item. Um, I don't need this leeching dagger. It can go. Cool. We've done it. Back to the blacksmith. Forge the infused rune sword. The following items will be unequipped. Yeah, it's fine. I'll deal with it. So, at this point now, Malboros, we can go ahead... Equip the infused rune sword. Yeah. Boom. So that's now more weapon power, better critical damage, some dodge skill cooldown reduction. Sweet. Uh, and then we need to re-equip something onto our friend here, because otherwise she's going to have a really bad time. Um, skill damage. Acolyte's Mask is fantastic. Actually, Acolyte's Mask would have been really good on you, too. Anyway, that that's how this works, more or less. Is that the same staff? It is the same staff. Okay, cool. So all the stats are the same, but... Oh, I'm an idiot. Thank you for pointing me. I'm still on my face. We were watching face cam. I swear someday I'll be alive and happy about it. Uh, so what I just showed you... Um... God, I feel so dumb. Uh, okay, so uh, if we go to the merchant, we can sell items. For instance, this claw staff. I can sell that. That gets me some money. We're now up to 400 and so or so are these. If we go to the blacksmith, we can build some we can build some stuff. So we have a list here of items that we can build. For instance, there is uh, the fanged gloves. If we wanted to build these, we need a certain number of aethery sparks, metal plates, leather scraps, mutant teeth, which we have, and aethery crystals. Um, say I want this carpal knife. The carpal knife is really, really good. I think I want that. So I'm going to go ahead and build some metal plates. So let's go to the blacksmith. Uh, you'll see that there's a variety of different things that we can use to build the metal plates, and then the things that it can turn into up here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and forge... Oh, uh, no, I don't want to get rid of that item. I'm going to forge one of those, and then we're out of resources. You can see the resources down here. So I have one metal plate, but now I'm all out of resources, and I'll have to go ahead and take time to build it more. Uh, chorus, let's see, what can I do for you? Ultimate damage would be cool. But let's go ahead and change your skill damage instead. Cool. And then that's how you can equip things. Now, I could sell some other stuff, but I kind of need them for ma for materials later on. Um, yeah, that ought to do. For now. that That's that's rough. <laughs> Give me this instead of the movement this. speed increase, please. And yeah, and, and now uh, Val Boris has a different weapon. And if you take a look at his character art now, his sword is far more glowy-doey. Like, it's, it's turning into a proper lightsaber now. Which is a sign that you have powerful gears when it's glowing harder. Good that you weren't picking your nose or something? Oh yeah, I hope so. Will there be an auto forge for crafting trees like that? That is something that I really want them to work on too, because uh, as it is right now, it's a bit finicky. You probably, you heard me be all finicky, but whatever. Turn all items up to X tier into ingredients. That would, well, they're all ingredients. All the items are ingredients for other things. So that infused rune sword, uh, the green one that I have there, uh, can be forged into, uh, so let's see, what do I have here? Um, let's see. Skull Staff, Dennis Lama, cool. The Infused Rune Sword. So, the Infused Rune Sword requires large fangs, all that other stuff. Huh. 
Uh, da, 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 da. I, I remember those things, like those extra items, like these ones here, actually being uh, worthwhile because they could be turned into um, gear as well. I thought that these upgraded. Uh, that might not be the case any longer. I'm not sure. Oh, right, and I forgot to equip the shield. Yes, cool. This That's much better. Well in battle. Oh, and look at that! His meat tin has been equipped on him too, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, all the items are gear for some way, or like things for other things, uh, like, are materials for other things that you can build, so. Are there different skins for the weapons? Yep, there are. So if I equip the Radiant Scimitar here, you get the Scimitar. If I equip the Barbed Rune Sword, yes. it's glowing, we'll but not as much the Infused Rune Sword. This. So there are other skins for all the weapons, and you do see them on you. Uh, these trinkets, you don't see uh, yet. And as far as, like, armor and shields and stuff go, that's character dependent. Um, but, like, the, the wizards get different staffs and stuff, so you can put on a claw staff instead of this one. Um, which actually might be good for me, because the, like, the cooldown reduction could be a little bit handy, but the 10% damage against bosses and stuff is actually huge. So I'm going to go ahead and do that instead. Um, and then for Scarlet, right now we don't have any weapons for her. She's stuck with her baseline weapons, which is a little bit unfortunate, because she does have some pretty nasty stuff you can do with her, as long as you get some good some good gear. Can you double equip things? Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Where is the trinket that I have two of? Bright ring. I will use Bright this. ring. Yes. This will serve me well in battle. Thank you, Malboros, for telling me all these things. I will use this. Good. Yes. Yes. This will serve me well in battle. <laughs> well, you'll be able to unlock new recipes. Unlocked or found. Uh, as it stands right now, we just have this list of recipes that we know that she can build, and there's no need to like go around searching for them. Um, so, like, the incantation compendium uh, is going to be buildable, so long as you find the incantation scroll and all that other stuff. Uh, if you want to build the Blood Rain, which is uh, Scarlet's quest item, actually, you're going to need access to Blood Slick, her weapon that she starts off with, and Rain Slick, another weapon. And then, once you've got Blood Rain, like, that's disgusting. <laughs> but you need Blood Slick first, so you need to find that out in the world and then build this. Uh, there's Sunset and Sunrise, two weapons here, which are also really, really strong, uh, which you would end up building by using, let's see, you need Crescent Sickle, Corpse Cutters, which are both weapons as well, the Elder's Skull, that's a trinket, oh dang, <laughs> so you can take a look and see what you want later on down the line as well, the Reaper, what are you, oh boy, oh baby, I know who I want this on, I want this on, <laughs> I want this so bad on Krom. Uh, but then there's like other gear that's easier to get to and stuff like that. You can find some of this gear as well in the world. And the more notorious levels you do, like the harder the level you do, the more chances you have of finding these kinds of uh, weapons just lying around. Um, so yeah, you can build everything up to purple with just basic mats, which is really, really good. But then after that, you're going to like for the legendary gear, you're going to need to find like, you know, other stuff for sure. And then there's still trinkets and stuff you need to build. and That takes time. It takes a lot of time, a lot of sparks. There's a lot to do. And because these three characters aren't the only three characters you're going to have, and there will be an incentive, like once these characters max out, there's an incentive to not use them that uh, that will crop up. Um, you're going to be pressed to make sure that you have gear for everybody. Elder Skull 6 confirmed. Okay. Look, I've been meandering and wandering around on this stream for the last little bit. I'm excited to show people this. I've been talking about this for weeks about being excited to show people this. I want to play more of it. You know, that, that's it for now. <laughs> I I cannot wait to be playing this for hours and hours and hours. As it stands right now, this is Blightbound. We're done. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed yourselves. Again, to recap, make sure you check out the crate, uh, the, 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 the Kickstarter, effectively, for the Awesome Knots double LP. I'm going to go ahead and just put that out there uh, again. You can go ahead and check that out. If you want to back the project, that... Sh that you know, it'll give you a whole lot of Awesome Knots Sonic Picnic music on a, in a beautiful record, uh, you know, in a beautiful record format. And I'm going to be back in as soon as we're done with the stream. So that's the thing. If you won one of the Robo Scoops from the raffle site today, make sure to stick around on Twitch for a little bit afterwards. I'll be whispering you guys the individual codes in a moment after the show's finished. Uh, and finally, yeah, if you're in the SPL, get your games finished, please, as quickly as possible. There'll be a Blightcast coming out this Friday where we're talking with Lawrence, actually, who was helping me out with the stream today. And yeah, that's it from us. Thanks again for watching. I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Contact me at philip at Ronimo. 
Dashgames.com, uh, or head out to the uh, discord.gg slash Ronimo for the Discord. I'm on there all the time. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. We got Facebooks for Blight Band, Swords and Soldiers, and Awesome Knots, and Ronimo itself. We got lots of things going on. So make sure you check all those out uh, on our socials, and we'll see you guys next time. If you got fan art, show it to me too. If you got replays for me on Friday, look, there's so much to do. I'm just going to hop off now. Bye. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, anyway. You guys have a great day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And bright in the thick of the fight, she's raging with might. Sisterhood, my shield, fulfills like a knight. As long as the dreams are alright.